What's up guys, it's Dave Schools, and for this vlog I'm gonna do the five minute challenge, which is basically turn the camera on, leave it on for five minutes, and see what happens. <clears throat> and uh, so I saw Sam Taylor do his second five minute challenge, and I was like, what, I gotta do this. And Greg Glyer, Spencer DeFolmar, the other guys uh, running the behind the scenes with the vloggist challenge, <clears throat> they did it, so I gotta do it. And here it goes. Uh, I'm sitting outside of Einstein Bagels in my car, and I just had my first coffee. First of probably five today. I love coffee. And um, seven o'clock in the morning. Just dropped Steph off at work. And uh, so here it goes. What I want to talk to you about is self esteem. Who struggles with self esteem? Do you? A lot of people do. It's kind of human to wonder and struggle and wrestle with self-esteem. But anyways, self-esteem can be a bit of a roller coaster. And so I have three words that I'd like to share um, and how I view self-esteem and how I get through it. How I And it comes across in questions. I ask myself these three questions to kind of do a self-awareness exercise and see where I'm at, how I'm doing. So I hope this helps you. Uh, and here they are. Three words are deserving, despising, delighting. On one end of the spectrum with too high self-esteem is deserving. And that's kind of like uh, everyone should be treating me a certain way because I deserve it. Uh, life is going so good. Everything's successful and going well. So I deserve to feel really good about myself. Not the best place to be. It ends up creating a sense of pride and arrogance and shuts you off uh, to loving other people and seeing people for who they are. And then on the other, on the low end of the spectrum, when the roller coaster shoots down, which it inevitably does if you're too high, uh, is this word despising. And I ask myself the question, Dave, are you despising yourself? And that's when, you know, opportunities fail. I fail uh, to be obedient to God. I fail in my marriage. I fail, you know, with friends. And that, that leads me to thinking terribly about myself, not liking myself. There's plenty of strong words to describe how dark it can get. And if you're watching this, you, you probably know what I'm talking about. And so it's that's not a good place to be. That's just as dangerous as feeling deserving and that it shuts you off to other people, both to give and to receive love. And in the middle and kind of where I strive to be and is this word delighting. And that's because I have a heavenly father that delights in me, I can delight in others and I can delight in myself in a healthy, balanced way. And delighting in others lets you see people for who they are, how they're doing, and you can enjoy being with them because you enjoy being with yourself. Delighting in who you are has nothing to do with your actions. Because circumstances go up and down, you succeed, you fail, you succeed, you fail, endless cycle, one or the other, um, it can be a little chaotic. So to base self-esteem on your actions is for me, foolish, in that it'll drive me nuts. Where if it's based on how a perfect being sees me, who doesn't change, and is always the same, um, I can delight consistently, whether I'm messing up or whether I'm succeeding. And so that's how I regulate my self-esteem, um, and I hope that helps. Are you despising yourself? Are you feeling too deserving? Are you delighting in God, in yourself, and in others? So I hope that helps, and this has been the five-minute vlog vlog challenge, and uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.